And so it begins. In the end, we all burn for our sins. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus also known as the G -G 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 Virus and we are back with more let's play Silent Hill 100% blind and when last I left you guys we had probably our best episode as far as progress progression and just getting shit done You know unlocking stuff and going places ever we uh, found ourselves, we did a lot, man. We unlocked a whole bunch of places, solved puzzles, defeated enemies, and, and, and figured out so, some stuff. We have a new item, a key, that will allow us to get into the examination room found in the patient room in the second floor basement. Yeah, we got access to a room in the second floor, or the basement, or whatever, the F. And now we have a key that should allow us to get into a new area. Still don't know what that empty bottle I have is for. So the examination room is on the second floor, I believe. No, third floor? No, examination room, what? What room is that on? Maybe that was the fourth floor. But the fourth floor doesn't show up when you want it to. Oh no, it's over there, it's on the first floor. I can't even get in there though. How am I supposed to get in there? Medicine room? Can't get in there through the medicine room, it's locked. Oh, what? I guess it, it would open from this side too, I guess. That's how it worked. Yeah, we're, we're, we're right there. Let's continue on. Another area of the hospital, of the hell hospital, for us to investigate. And a cutscene. Make every cut seem seem creepy, even one like that. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? A sexy ass nurse. My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Harry, tell me what's happening here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. Knocked up, you mean? When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. So you don't know anything either. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? A seven-year-old girl? What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl? Mm-hmm. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all this time. I'm sorry. That's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. So I really don't know. What did you say was down there? Well, it's... Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Harry? I was not expecting her to sound like that. Based on what she looked like in the cutscenes, I expected her to sound way more... ditzy or lively or something. Was I dreaming? 
You were too late. It's you. She's back! Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. Tell me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. I knew this day would come. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Believe the evidence of your eyes. The other church in this town, that is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you can stop it now. Have you not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! That was the longest cutscene to date, man. Not bad. We needed one of those, for goodness sakes. Another character, well, at least that gives me hope that they'll start bringing characters back here and there bit by bit. Because we get to see that crazy old bat, that wise, crazy old bat, giving us tips and hints, being cryptic as always. She she made a return. Now, we're still waiting for probably the best character so far, Sybil. I don't know what happened to her. Hopefully we see her again in, like, what, the eighth hour of playing? Whatever. There was an antique shop key. And we got to meet a, a new sexy hot nurse girl. Forgot her Lydia? Well, I forgot what her name was. It was something. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, the hospital's not in hell anymore. It looks like we're out of here, right? We're going elsewhere. We're done here or what? Antique shop key. Yeah, we got an antique shop key. Let's just get it. I'm tired of this place. I'm surprised we made it out of this hospital without a major boss battle. I'm assuming we're making it out of this hospital, but I was expecting a major boss battle. Like every new place you go into, you you have to leave it with a fight. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in there that... A lot of loose ends back in that hospital, though. Because there was that plate that had all the names on it. There was that plate that had a stone something screwed into it. That music. Antique shop? How do I go on to the next, to the other map? I just, I just gotta run over there, huh? Where am I supposed to go? The antique shop, right? Maybe I gotta just go back from whence I came. Whatever that noise is they're playing is really annoying. Especially when you're wearing headphones. Like, give me a break. It's fading, though. So maybe it has something to do with something being nearby me. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna head back to old Silent Hill. I think that's what it is. Let's see what's over there. I don't think there's an antique shop in the damn hospital. Maybe there is. Look at this key again. If I don't see anything marked on my map... The tagged key with a shop name on it that Dali, D Dali, Dahlia gave. Left at the hospital. Left at the hospital. That wording would imply that we're not supposed to be in the hospital anymore. I gotta see these flying purple bat pterodactyl things again. Wasn't missing them at all. So far that hospital was probably like the coolest place I've been so far. And Harry disappears into the fog. How about that? That's one hell of a creepy visual right there. And there goes that music completely stopped. Alright, let's check that map. Let's 
church. Hmm. Cafe. I don't see anything extra marked on the map. See a convenience store? I don't see anything for an antique store. Maybe it was in the maybe it was in the hospital. But why would an antique store be in a hospital? Maybe they're not gonna mark it on the map and maybe the antique store was back from where I came from. I don't think they want me to come back here. Does that say antique up there? It says something and something. Fixed and quick? I thought they were supposed to mark down on the map where they wanted you to go. I mean, I'm supposed to go back to the church. She did say something about the church. Uh, the writing on the map, I can't really make it out at all. <laughs> that's funny. Antique? I think that's... Oh, God. I don't know what that says up there. Can I zoom in? Yes, I can. No, it just gets even harder to read. <laughs> I don't know. Damn it. I didn't want to get stuck. I don't want to just roam around either. Well, let me go ahead and go back to the church real quick. She did say something about the church. Heed her words. Things like straight ahead and to the left. Was there any type? Why would there be an antique place in the hospital? I feel like I saw something like that in there, but no, I think I'm just losing my mind. Maybe it's just plain and simple, not 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 marked down on the map. We got an enemy on nearby dog. Just completely ignore him. And we are back at the church. I don't think there's anything for me in here. Mm -mm, nothing but music. It won't open. Still locked. Damn it! I don't know where to go. There's another door somewhere. Not oh, locked. Fuck. Everything's jammed up. I don't get it. Man, it's way easier to read some of the stuff on here. Food and liquor, that's what that says. Well, I'm pretty sure... We'll just dedicate this episode to exploring the new area that we opened up. New Silent Hill or whatever it's called, the other map. We'll just search around that place. Wherever they want us to go has to be there. Can't be here. Harry, jack a car or something. Get Grab like a bicycle, that would help. All this damn running. Well, after an episode filled with progress, it looks like we've come to a complete stop. Don't know where to go. I mean, I have a key, so I have an idea, but it's not on my map, and I can't, I don't see anything saying antique shop, and if it does, I can't make it out. That's what happens when you play these old games on HD televisions. Shit just looks too blurry and blocky, and pixelated. Can't really read some of the smaller text on here. Give it one more shot, and I'm just gonna run around aimlessly. Yeah, that just that's that's not. Yeah, I just can I see it on my computer? It's a little more legible on the computer. I see antique something. 
There's definitely something that says antique in the right upper corner, so I guess I'll head there, but my god, what a journey that's gonna be. Look at that shit. Just head straight until I hit the second street. Damn, Harry. Who knows what kind of a horror. They'll probably block off my way and crap. And I'll have to find an alternate path to get there. It'd be so stupid. No, oh, look who it is. Ah, damn. Perfect, perfect aim you got there, asshole. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit! Harry's dead. Harry's dead. Harry's dead. The fuck is this? What kind of creature is that? Shit! This is what I was afraid of. This is what they want. Getting chased by apes now. That thing is on me, too. He's not letting up. Okay, he let up. I can still hear him back there, though. Good lord. So this is what I got to look forward to in this area, huh? Just fog and enemies. Flying shit. Drap kicking me in the forehead. <laughs> oh, man. And, and the radio noise when you're around an enemy is even more annoying now. Oh, fuck. It slammed Harry's face right into that wall. Oh, what do we got here? Why did they not mark it on the map? Come on! Like seriously, they've been marking shit on the map for me to go this whole time, now they just want to, they just said fuck it. Alright, we're in business. Well, at least it didn't take as long as I thought it would to find out what to do. Are we in for another cutscene, or are they just loading up a... Uh, the save point right in my face, like, you're going to need this. It's right in our face. Right in the front of the camera. Oh, a clock ripped right out of Resident Evil, it seems. There is a clock, nothing special, but it has its own, like, it has its own screen, so there's probably nothing special about it at the moment, but it will be later on. Time will probably change on us. We'll probably just find a way for it to fuck with us. What is that? What, what, the, hell, what the hell is that? A Grammy? Is an MTV Music Award? None of this stuff is, on any, is of any use. It's gonna be one of those type of episodes, man. How big can this antique booth, antique shop be? Not big at all, apparently. That's all she wrote. It's gotta be a secret entrance or something. That has to be movable. There is a trace on the floor that somebody moved the cabinet. Do you want to push it? Ah, I know it. Secret passageway. Be careful, Harry. What's this? <gasps> Harry! Hell yeah! Sybil? Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. Sybil's ass, man! I shouldn't have left you. No Things shit. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Ghost girls. That's the last thing I need. What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. 
Oh. Do you know her? I thought she was talking about the nurse girl. Like, she wasn't bizarre. Dahlia Gillespie. No. She was and? Not. She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. Ha! <laughs> they sell them to the tourists. Damn. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out. And the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Wow, it was a lengthy one, huh? Well, 23, I'll just cut back and save. Can I even go back? Ah, oh, you sons of bitches. Son of a... <sighs> well, what if I wanted to save, man? Shit. Well, it was nice seeing Sybil again, just when I was complaining about her absence. There she is. What's this? Looks like a shrine of some, some sort. Some kind of altar. Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. Oh god. Be careful in here, man. Oh, is that an axe? Is that a new weapon we'll get to utilize? Oh, there's a doorway out of here, I guess. I need to F and save. Some kind of powder is left in the chalice. Can I set it on fire? Do I even have my ladder anymore? Is that thing just useless now? That thing's gone. No use. I have no idea what this was for. <sighs> I, I, there's a lot of stuff in that hospital I probably didn't figure out. Probably missed out on a weapon or something, but you know, I didn't know this game was gonna be like that where you could just totally miss shit and that would be that. There is an axe. Is this like a special item axe or is this legitimately a melee weapon? Small one hand axe moderately effective. Yeah, it's, it's a weapon. Moderately effective. Nothing to do here then? That picture looks kind of creepy. It looks like. Like. Like a, like a bodybuilder. A female bodybuilder with like a whole lot of red hair. And like a red bikini top and red bikini bottoms on, and she's like flexing. 
That's how it looks on my TV. I don't know what that's supposed to be. The lock is jammed. The door can't be opened. So I can go back or what? What do they want from me? I'm supposed to go back? It seems a little too easy. No, I'm like, pretty sure I can't axe it. Uh-oh. <gasps> what the fuck? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Are we gonna get to control Sybil? Look at that ass! Harry? Look at that head! Please let us control Sybil. Where am I? Harry. Lisa? Then I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure... Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. <laughs> she does not look like she sounds like that in the cutscenes at all. She looks like a little firecracker in the cutscenes. Wow, we're getting a lot of story. A lot Was of cutscenes. Another dream? Did I pass out again? I don't want to think so, but maybe this is all just going on in my head. I could have had a car accident, and now I'm lying unconscious in a hospital, something, something. I don't know what's real anymore. All of a sudden, we have to read his thoughts. Sybil said Cheryl was heading towards the lake, but the road to the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other roads? Lisa would probably know. Give me a damn save point. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play. I was about to say Resident Evil, Silent Hill Blind. If you like the video, feel free to like it. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe. And this is the Game Virus. See you guys next video. Later.